What's up guys, your boy Khalil, um, a lot of you out there have been asking for this, um, a lot of you have subbed or gifted subs for, for this, and I very very much appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing on my stream. Um, so here it is, this is going to be the comprehensive Android 21 guide. Um, it's going to be split into a bunch of different parts uh, because there are different aspects of the character that I think need to be gone over individually. Um, so this will likely be a three or four video series. Um, we'll see how it works out in the end, depending on how long things are, but let's just get right into it. So the first episode um, of the guide is going to be covering her strengths and weaknesses, um, kind of the strategy built around the character, why you should play her, um, the weaknesses that you should look out for, because a lot of people are talking about character strengths, but they don't really go over her weaknesses. Um, and then afterwards, we're going to talk about uh, some of her normals and specials uh, and kind of some of the quirks and some of the caveats that, that come up while playing the characters. So let's start with their strengths. The strengths uh, get stated quite a lot uh, by people whenever they talk about this character. Um, Android 21 is a character that excels in the ranged game. Um, her buttons have really long ring, range, her 2M, her 5M, her JM, her 3M. Um, she has access to really, really good key blasts. 2S covers like pretty much the whole screen. Uh, snuffs on assists, uh, can be option selected out of. We'll talk about that later on in a video. Um, so it really likes, it lets her take control of the, kind of like the, the mid to full screen game. Um, there are characters that do beat her from full screen, but uh, there's not that many. There's not that many people that, that can deal with this character well from the mid to long range. So, very, very good strength. She also, whenever she is close up, she has access to command grabs. It just buffed her uh, 2 through 6 S grounded, which is now 24 frames, which is actually the same uh, the same speed as 6M. Um, so it's even more scary than it used to be. It used to be 27 frames, now it's 24. Um, she has access to really, really good grounded staggers because um, some of her strings push you in such a range that most characters cannot challenge her back. Um, so if I go into a string that is spaced and then I press 5M. Um, if you try to press something back, most of the time your character will whiff and I will counter hit you and then you will explode. Um, so that's very strong. She also has access to the best level three Oki in the game. Um, it is a same frame high low or a <clears throat> very ambiguous left right. Um, very, very strong and set it up pretty easily. You just need to learn how to super jump IED. Um, and she also has access to solo plus frames uh, in the form of 2-3-6-H. So um, if, she, if she has any steals in her slots, so they actually buff this. What it used to be was that um, EX ball on block was minus two. And then depending on how many steals you had, if you had any more than zero steals, you'd have plus frames and the amount of plus frames go up depending on how many steals you have. Well, that principle is still the same, but now EX ball is actually plus one on block, even with no steals. Uh, going all the way up to plus 20 with full stack steals. Um, so that tool is very, very strong, especially um, especially whenever you're talking about uh, if she needs to make a comeback. So a lot of people seem to think that this character is not very strong solo or shouldn't be played in the anchor position. I tend to disagree because all of these things uh, combined really, really gives her a lot of ways to come back. Level 3 Oki, solo mix-ups in the form of command grabs, access to solo plus frames if you want to take your turn again um that makes for a very very scary character especially if we factor in limit break um and some of the like sparking you know all, a lot of different things and this character hurts a lot so i don't think that she's weak by any means in the anchor slot uh, and we'll be talking a little bit more about that uh, as time goes on um, but let's let's get into some of her weakness so one of the one of the biggest biggest weaknesses that Android 21 has is her defense. Um, she's not extremely strong defensively. She does not have access to a good reversal outside of level three. Um, she has a six frame. She has a six frame five L, but the hitbox is not the greatest. So there are a lot of times where normal characters or you might call them privileged characters might be able to challenge um, with a fi with a six frame you know five L like Bardock here on the screen. There are places that you could challenge with Bardock that you will not be able to challenge with 21. And you might think, you know, that's a lot of characters in this game, right? Like not everyone is as privileged as Bardock in the 5L department, but there are a ton of situations where um, where you actually could, you could potentially take your turn, but the hitbox on 5L makes it so you can't 
actually take your turn um, and that uh, what what it does is it makes this dynamic where you you feel like you you should be challenging with M buttons instead of L buttons and of course and buttons being naturally slower could lead to a, an opponent stealing a turn on you that that you normally wouldn't have had to deal with and, and it puts you back into the same pressure situation over again so um it could be very dangerous playing defense with the character for sure um another weakness that she has and this is the one that's most obvious this is the reason that that a lot of people felt that the character maybe wasn't strong early on whenever the game first came out um is that she doesn't have access to traditional sliding knockdown in the same way that other characters does so her JH uh, knocks forward, similar to Piccolo. It does not cause a sliding knockdown. So um, when she does her combo structure, uh, usually ends up you usually end up ending your combos with either a command grab, which cause sliding knockdown now thanks to the season three changes, um, or you end up doing a dive into an assist into a, an air dragon rush, or you vanish in dragon rush. So, and you might think that. Oh, well, they gave her, you know, they gave her the, the sliding knockdown off of grab. Um, it should be fine now, right? Well, it's not exactly the same type of sliding knockdown that you would be looking for, uh, especially out of standard combos with no meter. Um, they all, all of her command grabs also side switch. So um, this this can create kind of a, a, a meter hungry dynamic with the character, uh, which is something that has to be factored into her gameplay. Um, and it's one of the reasons that I think that that she is best in the mid slot now instead of the point slot, um, because, as I said before, she is really strong level three Oki um, and can really thrive when she has the meter to to get access to some of her best knockdowns. So, in my opinion, it is better to play a strong point character um, and then bring twenty one in on advantage, and that's where she really really shines. Um, and then the last weakness that I'd, I'd want to talk about is, uh, and this one doesn't really get talked about a lot, uh, is she's her supers are low damage. So this doesn't seem like it's a big deal, um, but it actually is in the game of Dragon Ball. Having very, very strong level 1 or level 3 can, can really dictate how people decide to play the character. Um, and her level 1 is low damage. It does 792 damage. It also is not an air super in the way that you think it is. So... With Bardock, whenever he wants to do an air super, he can just do that. When Frieza wants to do an air super, he can just do that. Um, and the it, the it will make contact after a traditional air combo. 21's level 1 actually teleports a set distance from the ground, no matter where you are. And it does 792 damage. So the damage trade-off is not really that great. And you can't, it doesn't have the same flexibility as, as some of the other air supers in the game. So that can create some issues here and there. The hitbox is also very, very odd sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, and then her level three, so they buffed her level three. Uh, to give you a full stack of steals. This is grounded level three, the, the candy beam. It now gives you blue life back and it also gives you four steals in all of your slots depending on the character that was eaten and this is a very very strong buff but the super itself does very very low scale damage um it like all the all the uh both both her level three and uh i believe majin buu majin buu is the other candy candy level three his did low damage as well but they actually buffed it in season three so now she's kind of left with this is low damage level three and while i think the trade-off is worth it um since it is the the super that is used on dhc um it's very it, it caused you to miss out on some kills for sure um there are times where i'm like man if i was playing another character i would be able to kill but since her grounded level three only does 15 21 damage um it it doesn't really work out in a lot of situations to, due to the very low damage um now her air her air level three does 1721 damage full scaled um and that that is higher damage but they made it uh they kind of changed the way her command grabs work to work in the sliding knockdown in season three so now um it is much harder to do her standard routes into air level three um so for example if i do an air combo and then i do um if i end in one of these command grabs I cannot level 3 immediately after in the air, which you used to be able to do, but you can't now because they fall too fast. Um, <clears throat> you can still do air level 3 if you do dive and then you buffer level 3 before you actually touch the ground, 
but that that leaves room for room for error and there's a lot of different ways that you can drop the combo in that way so um for all intents and purposes i would say that um her supers are low damage um and that is definitely a weakness that can that can really screw you over in a match